Today we're switching out our standard crazy and chaotic dinosaur adventures for sheep. We're going to be playing with sheep today. No, I kid. We're going to be dealing with something equally terrifying to dinosaurs. Polar bears. Because today we're playing Planet Zoo's new Arctic DLC pack. Which brings us, among many other awesome wintry inclusions, polar bears. Yes, those cute and cuddly little white balls of fluff that also happen to be brutal and deadly killing machines. But they're cute, so we'll give them a pass. This game is one that I've had people begging me to play on the channel ever since its beta dropped back in like October. So you might have heard a little over a week ago they dropped their brand new Arctic DLC pack, which adds a bunch of new scenarios, sending you over to countries like Norway and Mexico. You've got new Arctic animals like polar bears, reindeers, Arctic wolves, and sheep. And they also give you over 200 new scenery pieces, allowing you to cover your park in snow, design ice sculptures, or build your very own little Scandinavian village. Now, just on a little side note, you can actually save yourself a little bit of money on Planet Zoo and the Arctic Pack over on Steam. I think it's currently 13% off. And this is a sponsored video, so I'd like to thank Planet Zoo and Frontier for sponsoring it. So this here is, in fact, one of the little scenarios that you can jump straight into. This is like a pre-designed little, I don't know if you call this Scandinavian or or what but it's kind of like a pre-designed little christmas village it's awesome and i couldn't help myself i was tempted to go and just build my own but let's be real i just want to play with polar bears i just want to get wolves going i just want to build some little animal exhibits plus i can't build anywhere near as cool as this look at this this is absolutely beautiful. We've already got about 80 guests in the park or so. Nighttime in this game looks absolutely amazing. But uh, we should uh, stop it looking at this. Stop checking out the scenery. Stop spending time over here checking out our little sheep and build us a polar bear exhibit. Oh, by the way, whoever designed this little like toilet cubicle and like ATM setup. Oh my gosh, this thing is impressive. <laughs> it's so darn cool. And the sun has risen on a brand spanking new day. So let's get this straight. Let's get straight into it. If you've played any of these types of games in the past, I'm talking like Planet Coaster or you've played Jurassic World Evolution, this game, you might be able to notice that there are already quite a few little similarities. That's because it is the same development studio behind both of these titles. Now, what I'm actually thinking of doing, I kind of want to get a little bit different with our little polar bear enclosure here. I was thinking we could get a little bit tricky with it, kind of like... Rather than just building a big old fence around an enclosure, maybe we could do a bit of like, I don't know, water and like cliffs and stuff like that and make it kind of like unique and stuff. I just want to have a bit of a play with the terrain tool because, I mean, I'm kind of new to this. We haven't really spent like a whole lot of time playing the game. But yeah, here's what I was thinking. How's about we go for a little bit of like a moat? Um, I don't know, kind of just like a bit of like a little watery, uh, I don't, I don't know, something that kind of looks a bit like Arctic, I guess. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. That's fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. We can touch it up later on anyways. So we're just going to go and build like a nice old little Arctic moat. Uh, maybe we can get a little, oh, maybe we can get like a little bridge. Can I go, can I do a little like tunnel under the road here? That'd be pretty cool if we could. Let me try this. Let's see if we can, like, go and, like, dig a little hole under here. I get a feeling we could. Oh, we can. We did, at least. Yeah, there we go. So what I've heard, to have a, a polar bear, like, exhibit, you actually need to have quite a bit of space. Apparently, uh, before they patched it, you needed about 12,000 square kilometers of water. Square kilometers or square meters? Kilometers might be a little bit too much. But, like, 12,000 square meters of land and then, like, another 12,000 square meters of uh, water in their enclosure. Supposedly, the uh, the requirements have shrunk a little bit. It's a lot easier now to build one of these enclosures. Uh, let's try and fill this thing in with water, though. Let's see how we go. Can we fill it? Oh, there we go. I guess that's kind of what we're going for. Um, I was looking for something a little bit fuller. But there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, that's perfect. That, uh, that actually worked out so much better than I could have imagined. So I'm thinking this here could be our little exhibit. It's kind of like cornered in with uh, water. We've got some cliffs over here on the other side. We can actually go and expand these things up even like a little bit further if we're getting real tricky with it. That way we don't get any escaping. Uh, we don't want any polar bears roaming the park, basically. The safety of our visitors is of utmost importance. All right, I think we've pretty much nailed the terrain out here. I don't think uh, I don't think any polar bears going to be escaping this enclosure. I'm actually really impressed with it. The question is, have I kind of ruined? <laughs> I think I've made it a little bit hard for myself. I think we're going to have to raise the terrain just to place the road, and then we can, like, 
fill in the rest of it afterwards. Oh, 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 nearly had it. We can just build our way across like this. Well, it took a little bit of fiddling, but we got our little parkway completed. I, I got a little bit ahead of myself and I kind of butchered it up a little bit, but next step is ready. Let's go and build some barriers. We need an enclosure. That's probably like the most important thing other than actually putting the animals inside of it, right? So we've got a couple options here. I just don't know which the best one to do is. They've all got different like resistant grades i guess um i don't know how crazy a polar bear is gonna be i don't know if they can get through a resistance grade too but i, I like the look of this and it's it's actually it's really expensive but it's see-through it's glass which means our viewers will have a nice little experience i think so let's go i want to kind of like start out around here by the water um and basically i want to go a little bit weird with this one here i kind of just want to do a nice kind of a nice kind of like little semicircle, and this is kind of going to be like our big old viewing area, I guess. I think I don't know. Um, I don't know if we can go into water with this, but it'd be nice if we could. What I was actually originally planning on doing was using the null option, which is kind of like I guess you use water as your boundary, but it looks like glass might actually get the job done here. So we can kind of come up to this little edge right here. And since nobody's really going to be viewing from this side, I guess we could put something a little bit more sturdy over here, like wooden logs, perhaps? Maybe? Oh, let's just get some wooden logs along here. I don't actually know if any of them... Wait, is that wooden? That's not wooden logs. That's not wooden logs. I got it wrong. Uh, Wooden logs. Can I, can I, you know... Yeah, we can connect that. Cool. Oh, good. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Cool. And then we can just run these wooden logs all the way up to the side of this cliff. Now, I'm kind of just hoping we can like end it like, well, I guess that'll work. Maybe we got to go all the way around the top as well. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll do it. Oh, we're right on the border of the the, uh, the park here as well. I didn't actually realize that. I guess that works out well then because ain't nothing going behind this in our little park up here. It's actually a lot easier than I expected it to be. Cool. I guess we will go and bring this continuing all the way over here. And then as we get a little bit closer to where we kind of left off with our little glass enclosure, we'll go and run some glass through here too. So right now, as a matter of fact, let's do it. So let me just connect those two together. Go and run a little bit of glass barrier stuff down here. Can I connect these two? We can. And there we go. We've got us an enclosure. We've got no gates heading into it. It actually looks all right. I have absolutely nothing to compare it to, so maybe it's terrible. I'm actually thinking we might even like fill this in with water. I might even do like another little bridge out here. That way staff can access it, but nah, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Awesome. Alrighty, cool. So what do we need? We need polar bears. Oh, we need a lot of other things too, but polar bears is what we really, really, really need. Can I get rid of this little scenery? We'll go and replace this stuff eventually. There's actually a lot of grass down here. I might actually replace that. I think we can do that. We can paint this with short grass, right? Yep. Well, I don't want, uh, we don't need the grass. I mean, there's snow after all. The grass can stay in the actual enclosure. But uh, we'll, we'll remove all of the long grass from this little area. In fact, we can go even larger with this. Yeah, that'll save us a bit of time, won't it? Perfect. You know what? Let's get some polar bears into this thing. So here... Oh, there, there they are. I've already been looking at them. Uh, here are all of the different animals that we can actually choose from. I wonder if... I wonder if the Arctic wolves would like to live with the polar bears. Maybe. Maybe we could check a couple of them in there as well. But for now, I'm sticking to polar bears. That's what I want to... Oh my gosh. I... Man, how have I waited this long to play this game? We can get like a whole bunch of silverback gorillas in there. Let's just get polar bears. Let's just get polar bears. I'm actually in the wrong place for this. Animal trading is what we need to look into. This is like the little animal market where we can buy uh, different animals from, I guess, other zoos and breeders around the world. Um, polar bears will be in here. There they are, as a matter of fact. <gasps> we can't afford them. We need 700 and... 45-ish of these little leaf leaf points, which you can apparently get by releasing animals into the wild. Can I release some of these sheep then? Um, release animal into the wild. Oh, we get nine for that. Oh, that's not going to be enough. I need more. I need a lot more. Oh, no. You know, the other option is we just let a little bit of time pass by. And as a result, we looks like we actually gained some points. Well, let's let the time speed by, I suppose. 
<laughs> this is what I get for doing a scenario as opposed to, I guess, just like a sandbox world building it up from the start. We've got little like quotas and stuff like that to meet. Wow. What you get? Alrighty. Well, uh, oh, okay. I forgot to put the water back in, but uh, I actually ended up spending a couple of days in game, just basically trying to get our little pathway and stuff set up. And uh, I think we did a pretty good job of it in the end. There we go. We're back full of water. Okay. There we go. Oh, I'm really happy with this. This is uh, exactly what I was going for. So we got like a bit of a split section, a bit of a, a fork in the road. You might want to say, uh, leading up to this little area up here. And this is basically our viewing platform. So you're basically, look at the immersion. You're right here amongst the polar bears as a, as a, as a guest in our park type thing. The only problem is we don't have any polar bears just yet. However, we do have the points now. We've got the conservation credits to get one, I believe. So let's head over to the animal market. Uh, I probably had it selected. We can get snow leopards too. Oh, maybe we should just get snow leopards. Wait a second. Why is the price increased? It's increased by like a hundred. Oh, refresh the list. <laughs> oh man, really? Really? You're going to do me like that game? Oh man. Wow. I guess I can't afford them yet after all. Hmm. I mean, if we wait a little bit longer... But I'm assuming our polar bears are going to go up in value as well. All right. Here's what we're going to do instead. Well, while we wait, at least. Let's get some facilities out here. Because, I mean, are polar bears alone going to be enough to draw all of our guests up this road? I mean, I think so. But I don't know. I don't see anybody venturing out here just yet. So let's go ahead. Let's get some shops. Let's get... Actually, I'm going to get a couple little extra pathways out here. Let's do some little baby ones. I just want like a couple little thin ones. Let's just go like little five width maybe. And we can kind of do a little little kind of straight line straight through the middle here like this. Uh, maybe not through the little foliage. Let's do a little thing like this, okay? That way, in case our guests do want to like get across to the other side, they can take a little bit of a shortcut, you know? So facilities, we are going to need... Oh, ATMs probably, so we can make a little bit of money, right? Yeah, let's get a couple little shops out here, eh? So, let's start with, I guess we get a little, a little gulpy. <laughs> I love some of these shops. I think Chief Beef has always been my favorite one. We get a little merchandising store out here as well. Let's get a little, oh, how do I rotate these guys? I don't actually remember how to make it happen. Aha, there we go. I knew that was a way to do it. I was just being not a very bright fellow, but there we go. Wait a second. Where's all my snow? Is it summer? Oh, is it summer? Did all of our snow disappear? Oh, what? <laughs> Serious? Oh, no. But what about our polar bears and their little snowness and stuff? What have we done? Uh, can I paint? Can I paint snow onto everything? I don't think we can. I don't think it works that way. I think we just changed seasons and we completely didn't realize it. Oh. <gasps> I just realized, I think this is snow sculpting up here. That's actually kind of cool. Have a look at that. Not snow sculpting. This must be the ice sculpting or it's just ice rocks. Possibly just ice rocks. Um, it sounds like our sheep are actually multiplying out here. We only had two of them last that I checked. All right. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's send, let's release one into the wild. We got six little points for it. We still need like 65 more, but... We're working on it. We're getting there. And let's just chuck a little info store down here as well. Nice. You know what? If the world doesn't want to be covered in snow, I'll force it to be. <laughs> we'll put our own snow down. Artificial snow. The polar bears won't know any different, right? <gasps> Guys, we've got two alpha males in the same enclosure and they ain't enjoying it. The sheep are going to fight. The sheep are going to fight. Oh, they're having a bit of a challenge of who the alpha of the pack is. <gasps> we can't split them up, can we? We got to let them sort it out. They're animals. We got to let them decide who is the alpha sheep. <laughs> oh, gee, I wonder, like, what happens? Does one die? Or does the other just, the other just stops to take a little bit of a turn? I see how it is. Well, this guy's crapping his pants. I think there's only one thing to do. We're releasing them to the wild. That way, all of our sheeps can live in peace and harmony. Good news, everybody. There's finally a polar bear that I can actually afford. Let's actually just get this guy, adopt him, and put him in his enclosure. Send to the zoo, baby. Send to the zoo. Invalid destination. I'll give you an invalid. Why is it invalid? All right. I guess we'll... Uh, do we drop him in? 
Oh no, we don't want to put him in this enclosure. I think I still got to like label our enclosure. Uh, let's let's put him for now in the quarantine section, I suppose. Now, what am I missing over here in our little habitat area? Let's go and put a habitat gate over here. I don't know how I forgot to do this, but it's probably like what? One of the most important things you could <laughs> add to an actual enclosure. Does that turn this into like an official enclosure? Is that what happens? It is. It is. Okay. It's actually a habitat now and it's, it's clean. So that's a good thing. So if I want to go to our little quarantine station, grab a put and move him over to our habitat. What are we missing? Oh no, it's, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. Uh, do they have to like manually do it or do they do it on their own? Like, does it automatically take place? Hold on. Look at this guy. He's got the polar bear. He's got the po It's the Polar Express, baby. You can do it. Oh, we're about to have a polar bear. I'm so excited. You know what? He's just not running fast enough. Let's speed him up a little bit. Get your butt over there to the exhibit, my dude. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I feel like I've worked so hard for this moment. But here it is. Whoa. Oh, oh, it's a bit, it's a bit bigger than I expected it to be. But there it is. We finally got us a polar bear. Good job, buddy. You might want to get out of there. Yeah. yeah. They know it's a job well done. Awesome. Well, there it is. I put the very first polar bear. Unfortunately, like an absolute goober, we have not even gotten this exhibit or habitat ready for our friend over here. We're going to get him water. Let's, I guess, we'll, I guess, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. We're going to get him water troughs though, right? What's the biggest of water troughs that we can get? Is that a food trough? Water trough large. We're going to put it right here. Boom. That way our guests can watch him drink water. But then again, I guess he has access to the water as he goes. Uh, heaters and coolers, probably not going to need it. He's already got a bit of a shelter, but I'll tell you what, I'll give him, I'll give him a few little like sleeping mats in case he wants those. I'm such a bat. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. Climbable platforms. All right. Let's give him a few of those as well. Uh, let's rotate them, of course. That way you can actually like, the guests can actually like watch them climbing set of platforms oh wait a second he is swimming wait a second buddy where are you going he's like on the hunt for food he's like mm, human flesh <laughs> i don't know we'll give him a couple logs and stuff around the place that he can scratch himself on or do as he pleases with at least then we give the guests a little bit of a show as well um so i'm looking for food though where oh where feeding stations right food large tray now we're talking that's what everybody wants to see. Everybody wants to see the polar bear eat his food, right? All right. Well, where's polar bear trying to escape to? I hope he hasn't found a hole in the fence or something. Uh, is that a little hole in the fence down there? I hope not. But why is he head straight across to it? Buddy, I've just, I've just decked out your little area with food and stuff. We should be all good now. Uh, I do, though, need to, I guess, allocate some staff members to look after our little friend here. Let's do exactly that. Ah, oh, so for the first time yet, I think I can successfully say we're actually getting some progress. I'm really bad at this game, I've realized. I just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just not great at building parks. I, I learned that through Planet Coaster. I learned that again through Jurassic World Evolution. Uh, look at all the litter around this little area. But at least our guests are having, no, they're not, they're not having a great time at all. Average guests need, they're not happy. They're hungry, they're thirsty, they need toilets, they need education. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm, I, oh, and they're, and they're, and they're cold. And they're quite cold by the looks of it. But our little polar bear out here seems to be quite happy. He's enjoying life. Is it a he or she? I actually didn't even check that. It is. I don't know. It's a it's a he. It's a he. Fantastic. Cool. It's only a three-star bear as well. So he ain't perfect, but um. Yeah, you might be going for a snooze right now. He spent most of his first day actually in the water, which is surprising. Uh, so it looks like. The world is currently being covered in snow again. So that's a thing. Um, yeah. Okay. I guess we need food. We need a lot more food. We've got 300 guests. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't, I didn't account for that. Let's, uh, let's give them some food then, I suppose. Have some more chief beefs. Boom. Um, there you go. Uh, what else can we give them? Another shop. We can give them a merchant. Oh, do they need merchandise? There's a little toilet block for them. Information center. So... I was saying that they needed more information. They need more uh, education, I suppose. Is there... Oh, viewing ambient speakers. How did I forget about something like that? You got to go ahead and, you know, 
get them right and immersed in with the polar bear action, even though there's like only one of them out there, but it doesn't matter. Uh, signs, educational habitat signs. How could I forget something like that? Very easily, apparently, because I'm a dummy. Cool. Let's get a couple of these old fellas up. Educational boards. What are these supposed to sit on? Music speakers. There's actually quite a bit you can do with this sort of stuff, hey? Nope. Let's just drop that one there. There. I don't know if we're actually meant to, like, put something on the signs on our own, but I think we'll just, uh, you know, we'll just leave them as is. There we go. All right. There's a bit of education for your butts. So, oh, educational contents. There we go. We actually got to select to display information on the polar bears. Oh, this one doesn't actually do nothing. All right. We'll get rid of that one there then. I guess we'll chuck another little billboard up over here. Just, uh... Just so that they know what they're working with. There we go. Give a bit of polar bear action. There we are. Okay, cool. So, we've got information set up. Are we happy now, guests? Oh, we're not We're not quite happy yet. We need more food. Man, we have like the hungriest guests in the world out here. I guess we'll just... Keep on dropping more places down. Except uh, oh, that for a start, they're not open. Um... Wait, what about our new shop over here? I didn't even open this one up. What are you doing, Miola? Do you even know how to run a park? Clearly not. Uh, we also need to hire more vendors. There's a vendor. There's another vendor. Now we've got vendors coming out of everywhere. Oh, it's open. It's open. Fantastic. I bet you now I need like another staff room as well. We've just really done everything out of order. But you know what? It don't matter. We've got polar bears. That's all that matters. Speaking of polar bears, where's my polar bear? <laughs> Where is he gone? Is he over here in the little stack of trees that I built? Uh, actually, actually where is he? He's probably swimming. Knowing my little guy. There he is. Told ya. Right on the edge of the water over here. He loves this little spot. Don't ask me why. Maybe we should give him a little, like... I got an idea. Let's give him a little swimming area. A couple little swimming spots out here. That way... I think I just chose a really bad spot to put it, but whatever. Uh, that way... At least. Oh, that was a really bad idea now that I think about it. Um, I think that's the feeding trough over there. And if they can't get to the feeding trough... <laughs> yeah, okay, let's get rid of that. That's just a terrible idea. Let's just go and level that out. Now we can come and swim over here and the guests can actually watch. Look at him. Look at him. They're loving it. Look how excited they all are. There's my polar bear. You know what I think we should do, though, guys? You know what? I, th I think we should do to, like, mix things up a little bit. Let's get something a little bit extra. Let's get some of these snow leopards. Those guys seem just as cool. Uh, I just don't know how expensive they are is the only thing. Ah, uh, where are they at? Where are they at? Arctic wolves. No, let's get some of these guys. Can we, can we put them in the same exhibit? Can I adopt it? Send to the zoo? Yeah, we can. Oh, <gasps> they can live together. Let's get two of them. Let's get another arctic wolf. Arctic wolf sounds so cool. And I got the money for it. Whereas I can't really afford any more, uh, whatchamacallthems. We can't really afford any more polar bears because we don't have the uh, conservation credits. But I think it's because they're, like, nearly extinct. I think that might be why. But anyways, where's me little animals? Um, animal has eaten guest food? What are you doing, polar bear? You can't be eating the guest food. I think he's got a bit of an upset tummy as a result. I got to admit, though, I am envious of all of these guests. I'm envious of this entire Arctic pack. Do you know why? Because currently in Australia, it is darn hot. This country is on fire currently. There's bushfires everywhere. It's 40 degrees Celsius, which is like over 100 degrees Fahrenheit every single day lately. And uh, meanwhile, in this game, everybody's over here, like, breathing like little fog out their mouth. They got their little, like, sweaters on, beanies and stuff like that. Rainbow colored hair. Or is that a beanie? No, that is rainbow colored hair. That is not a hat. Kind of looks like a bicycle helmet. <laughs> we got our mate over here who's like sucking up the animal poop. Um, and we now have our Arctic wolves who are for some reason are just obsessed with going for a swim as our polar bear here. I think they just like going up to the, the, the edge of the thing of a bobby. I don't know. They're both in the water. Whoa, hold on a second. Wait, where's he... He just... I, he, injured? My arctic wolf got injured? What, did he drown or something? I bet you this one here does the exact same thing. I swear, if you drown, buddy... Incubating... Listeri... Oh, no. 
I didn't put them through the vet. I didn't give them quarantine before I let them into the park. <laughs> They're spreading diseases in my park. Oh, you dummy. You dummy, Miola. What are you doing? Who are you? Something we probably should have done is like studied some of these animals. In fact, like this one here, for example. We currently have this disease. Maybe we should study it. We should probably do that. Oh, look at the size of this shelter. Oh, boy. I didn't realize you could get such big ones. That's a little bit more. Yeah, that makes more sense. We should give him a big shelter like that. And maybe even like... Oh, is he going to go and sleep in there now? Oh, let's have a look. He got up. Is he heading? Oh, maybe he's a hungry boy. I think he's just a hungry bear. Oh, he likes his new home. Oh, he likes his new home. Aww. There you go, buddy. Ah, He likes his new shelter. You little cutie. Well, in good news, our two little wolves here are back. Our injured guy. Injured boy. I tell these boys. We got a girl. And we got, we got two girls. Oh, they can't even breed. Oh, that's disappointing. But either way, our injured girl is back. Our sick girl is now healthy. So our wolves are looking pretty good at the present point in time. Our bear, on the other hand, uh, I actually don't know where the bear is. Last I spotted, there he is. I thought I would, you know, last time I spotted him, he was heading over here to the forest. I thought he was going to take a break, come over here. He's kind of like on a bit of a vacation away from all the visitors of the park. Uh, maybe it's cold. I don't know because we're currently in a bit of a snowstorm. It is early January. Actually, it's the end of January and minus 10 degrees. Yet a lot of our visitors haven't really dressed the part for this weather, which is funny as. Um, our park is horrible. It's one star. Our guests aren't super happy, mainly based on education. Um, other than that, though, they're actually not terrible. Just a bit unhappy, a bit thirsty, and lacking education. 350 guests, which is 100 more guests than we've had before that. Um, and a lot of trash comes along with it. I guess the more guests... Wait a second. Oh, I just had a brilliant idea. No, it's not even that brilliant of an idea, to be honest. Um, why have I not put bins anywhere? Can I even get bins? I'm assuming I can. Yeah, bins. Oh, you're a genius, Miola. You're an absolute genius. How did you not think of this? Actually, these are recycling bins. So I don't even know how much health these are going to be. Also, why are we placing them along the enclosure and not along the park benches? Well, you know what? It might help with our bin problem, which in turn might help with all of our problems. Is there a difference? Probably is. I think we need a bit of blue bins, a bit of green bins, and uh, our park and guests will thank us for it. But... Um, we're actually saving up a fair few points. We're running out of money. And by running out of money, I mean we have literally not much money left. Can we get maybe one remaining animal? Do we have any polar bears out here? A giant panda? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, as we're getting towards the end of this video, I was hoping we'd get two polar bears. I thought it'd be pretty cool to get two of them and they could have some little baby polar bears, but we didn't quite reach that goal. In fact, I can't afford anything right now. So I want to put it out to you guys. If you did enjoy this video, if you'd like to see more of this game on the channel, if you'd like to follow the lives of our little, <laughs> our little wolf pack and our giant polar bear, um, then let me know. Let me know down below in the comments. Let me know by thumbs upping this video. And yeah, if you'd like to see more Planet Zoo on the channel, I would love nothing more than to give it to you. But yeah, like I said, let me know. We're going to end this one right here though. This has been our polar bear enclosure. I think our finishing result is actually quite nice. I'm really happy with what we've built here. I kind of went in with a bit of a mission, but I didn't really know how it was going to go. All in all, I think we've done quite well. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much to Frontier and Planet Zoo for sponsoring this video. But that's it from me. Keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.